All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson 21. And in this lesson, we're moving on to a new counting strategy. Previously, we were doing the count on method. Now we're moving on to doubles and near doubles. So this lesson begins that process of allowing students the opportunity to visualize doubles and doubles plus one, near doubles, with five group cards is what they're gonna be using. Now let's get this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna make this right here rocket. So what we might wanna start with with our lesson is having them count using our fingers. So we're gonna say, okay, here's two, and then four, and then six, and then eight, and then 10, okay? Now the idea would be, if you show them a couple of fingers, now what is the number sentence that students could come up with? Well, they would come up with one plus one equals two. So you'd write that down. And then what's this number sentence? Oh, two plus two is four. So you're gonna give students a few minutes to play, and they can work with their partners, and they can create, and test each other out, I suppose, um, with some number sen sentences. So partner A might hold up four plus four, and then partner B would say, oh, that's four plus four equals eight. Give them a couple of minutes to play. And then here, teachers, after they've played with their fingers, uh, you might have them give them these two cards, right? So, and say, okay, what do we have here? Well, we have three plus Four, And then the question might be, well, what's our answer? Well, of course, the kids are going to say seven. But the idea would be for our students to say, well, utilizing that concept of double, that here's three and here's three. So the idea would be three plus three is six plus one more is going to give us seven. So you don't need to explicitly write this. But the idea might be we want students to begin the process of thinking, oh, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. This is in a later, this is in a later lesson, so you don't have to explicitly write that down. But we're just going to give our students uh, some practice where they are playing with some near doubles. So you might give them 1 plus 2 and have them talk about it or two plus three, or you could give them four plus five, and just allow them some opportunity to really think about these in terms of doubles or near doubles. Um, it, of course, students could continue to use their old count on method, and that would be fine, but we really, at this point, want to e emphasize, because we're trying to teach students another method, the idea of, in this case, we want to, oops, that's 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5, we want to teach students another method. So identify that there's 4 here and 4 here, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 more gives us 9. Now just to practice, students are being asked to fill in the cards and they want us to use the doubles method, so the idea would be, uh, here is 1 and 1, and so here's 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4, and 5 and 5. Then they want us to write the number sentence, so it would be 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 5 plus 5 is 10. So the idea is we want students to be practicing their doubles and make that second nature. And then we're going to eventually have them recognize what is a near double or a doubles plus one. So the idea would be let's match the cards. So matching the cards we could say well one and two are doubles plus one. Four and five is doubles plus one. Uh, let's see three and four, two and three are doubles plus one. So we want students to also recognize those. I mean, half the battle of using a trick or a, a method is to recognize when that method is now currently applying. In the case of, in this case, we'd say, oh, that's a doubles plus one. And I know how to do that. Two plus two is four, plus one more gives me five. And that wraps up first grade module one Lesson 21, visualizing with five group cards, doubles and near doubles, or doubles plus one.